first of all, congratulations. Thanks. In the, the start of the fight wasn't going your way. I was interested, what sort of trouble you were in? Were you in any trouble? Was it just about taking your time? How would you evaluate the first part of that fight? So the first part of the fight, I, I guess you could say I was in trouble, but most of my fights I start like that. It's like a wake me up. So I understood the position I was in and understood that I needed to advance fast or I would lose the fight. We've heard some fighters say in the past, like, oh, they need to sort of get in the fight before they can wake up. Is that something you're worried about or that you think you have to work on? Or is it something that's just working for you at the moment? So why change it? Well, as the competition gets tougher, I would have to deal with that in the warm-up room. I really can't keep going out there in the first round for a wake-me-up round. So that's something I'm going to deal with with my coach. The, the finish was particularly nasty. Those were some crazy elbows. Is that something you've had in the, in, the, uh, in the arsenal before, or was that you just felt it, it was right there, why not go for it? So my coach, he's a, he's a legit striker, so when we grind, I would always go for a double, and that's what he would do to me. So it just came to my sense like, oh, I, I'm in the same position I put him in, and then I just went for it. Did you feel right away, as soon as you hit him, that, oh, th these are hurting him? Did you it, feel, you know, right away? Around the third elbow, I felt him just get slumped. So I just kept going until the ref would pull off or until the position changed into a finish. Cool. And last one from me. You're in the UFC now. I just, you know, how much does this mean to you? If you could, if you could put it into one sort of the thoughts, how much does this mean to you? Life changing. If I can put it in one that's life changing from the background that I come from to this moment, a lot of people's lives around me are going to change. Congratulations, man. Thank you. William, congratulations. Thanks. I know when you, you won last time and then you got the developmental deal and you, you kind of, was that a, li a little discouraging at first? Like you're like, you thought you were so close and then you're like, okay, this is just another, another journey, another test I had to go, go through. When that happened, where, did that kind of put you down a little bit and did you still feel that you would make it back here at some point? So I come from a school where my coach teaches me to appreciate what's given to you. Also, my grandmother, she taught me that rule. So any contract at that moment, developmental, just the fact that I got developmental was appreciated and I was happy. And I know they, they said something on the broadcast you, with your age being 32, if I'm correct, that you, you thought that this was, this was your last shot to, to get in here. Did that add some extra pressure and, and kind of get a little fire under you to, to, to make it happen tonight? I mean, being 32 doesn't mean that I'm slowing down or anything. Like, to me, being 32, I truly feel like I'm in a hyper stages of myself than I was in high school, to be truthful. So that doesn't, age doesn't take no effect on me unless you let it. Perfect. And when you're in there, I think a lot of people look at you and your physique is fantastic. They say, oh, he's carrying all this muscle. He's going to tire out. But in there, you made some uh, comments where... You seem very, very smart about holding your strength, kind of catching those breaths when you could. Like when you were flattened out in that first round, you felt that you were kind of recovering right there while your opponent was wasting some, some speed. So when somebody some looks at you and says, man, he, look, at, look at that body, there's no way he can make it to the third round, what do you say to those doubters out there? I mean, people don't know where I come from. I used to be a 297-pound man wow. that did nothing for 10 years. Then I met my coach and he found a way for me to develop myself. So what he worked on from the beginning was working five five minute rounds because he knew he knew that I would get to this point someday, like be a champion. So he worked on me with five five minute rounds and then my strength and conditioning coach Carmen, all she focused on were guys in your size, they lack endurance. So we're gonna do endurance training. What you see in the cage is the, is the end result of training and the endurance training. There's not much I can do about my body. This is just how it is. Well, I think coming down from 297 to looking like what you do right now, you, you, you put in some good work. So congratulations on thank that. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Congrats, uh, Nightmare, on the big win. They had a, a kind of like a twist at the end of the episode tonight with Nate Smith, Tucker Luntz, and Melsic being told you know officially on the on the broadcast they're getting that invite um how how much better did that enhance you because you're appreciative of the the second invite but do you think that was better timing and let you develop get a little more confidence and just you could strike when the iron was hot tonight yeah i mean when i first came to the contender series i i i guess you can say i was a bit green like 
my experience in the professional region, the professional league wasn't all there. So I understood where he was coming from because I was trying to count my amateur fights, but it's just two whole different situations. So whatever came to me, I just took. So I didn't, it didn't really affect me. So to be able to come back a second time, people might look at it as, oh man, but it's definitely a great opportunity. Thank you, sir.